I shall report this to the head guard and return to my other duties. Hello everyone and welcome back to today's Adventure Day quest calendar from Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. It's a new week, so for those who remembered last week, we met our new friend Will and her beetle Nova, I believe. Nice spell caster who could deal some pretty good damage. Uh, we went from the local town and went on the road. The Crown Spire helped the merchant along the way, got attacked by some nasty bugs, and then uh, fought a little thief in front of crown spire but this week we are gonna meet our new friend cora wildclaw and gem everybody's just got a little pet cora sage bloom is the heir to the throne should her mother queen enid ever die or fail in her duties her mother's strict oversight and the royal guard's constant watch continue to suppress her desire for adventure cora convinced her mother to let her train in the art of the blade she uses her skills as an art form to meditate and relax as much as she does for self-defense and discipline. As a blade dancer, Korra can summon ethereal blades that swirl around her, moving with her every motion. These blades can be controlled and directed to slice through enemies with finesse and precision. Korra goes by Wildclaw to protect her identity when sneaking out of the castle. Today, she plans to join the people in the Turning Leaf Festival and enter the Leaf Riding Tournament. Mouse Blade Dancer. We will be using this. So... Let's go ahead and make a new character. Hey, blade dancers right there at the top. Nice. Cora Wildclaw. All right, Cora's got five amber, 11 HP, zero strength, two dex, negative two con, negative one int, negative one wisdom, two charisma, three attack, D6 damage, stealthy, plus two on rolls for sneak and hidden, regal influence, one time per page, D20 plus charisma, reroll any charisma roll, and flurry of daggers. Uh, once per rest, gain D6 bonus to all attack rolls on the page. Okay. All right, and let's continue on to day monday january 22nd you sit at your bedroom window high in crown spire castle gazing longingly outside as the bustling city prepares for the festival to celebrate the changing season you plan to join them soon but first you must answer the knock at the door all right first things first as we have found out we shall look for backpacks or pickpockets as we are the only one in the room i don't think we're pickpocketing anybody yeah i don't see any backpacks so so we have we have one two three and then choice a b for the Three. So if you remember, uh, if it has numbers, you have to go through all of them. And then a uh, letters you choose. So the first one, talk to the person at your door. You open the door to find an unfamiliar guard has come with a message. You must be new since you know every guard that works for your mother in the castle. Good morning, Miss Cora. I've been sent by Captain Flint Clawthorn to deliver a message. You're to port to your mother at once. Your dresses for this evening's festivals are ready, and she wants you both to attend your fitting together. I do apologize for my lateness. It is my first day at the castle, and I got lost while looking for your room. I am to escort you down. This could put a twig in your plan. It will be difficult to sneak out of the castle if you don't show up when your mother mother's expecting how will you deal with the guard uh pay them to ignore you optional yeah she's the daughter of the queen she can you know she can she's probably used to just paying off people and money fixes all her problems pay them to ignore you everyone can be more easily convinced to do something if you got some amber involved you place three amber into the guard's hand remove three amber gain plus two bonus on the rolls for this page all right so then we choose to either persuade them to leave or lie to them let's go ahead and she's probably used to lying too she's kind of let's i think cora might be kind of like a spoiled brat her mother's the queen right yeah we're gonna lie 3b lie to them b20 plus charisma oh we can do a charisma thing right all right so as you all remember from last week uh blue metal die is gone and for all two of us out there the marbled white die is making its triumphant appearance that is that's a four we're probably going to re-roll it because our charisma is a two plus two so two four uh four six eight yeah, let's go ahead and do regal influence and we're going to re-roll that's a 13 plus two is 15 plus two is 17 with our regal influence i'm incredibly sorry but i'm feeling rather ill <laughs> i'm gonna need some time to feel better if i'm going to attend the festivities please give my mother my apologies and you may not want to linger I'm not sure if it's contagious. <laughs> Lose one virtue. All right, negative one. If the result is 14 or more, I hope you feel better soon. I shall report this to the head guard and return to my other duties. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Game plus two bonus to the rolls on the next page. Nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and add that to our thing. So that'll be it for the first day. Yeah. So everybody meet Cora and... Uh, We'll see how she progresses. So thank you all for joining us today, and we'll be back tomorrow with more Korra, the Blade Dancer.
and as always stay safe out there